Okay, what I got here today is a Mariner 8 horse. There you see it, 8 horsepower. And the owner is uh, complaining that uh, the engine has lost spark. So let's take a look, remove the cover. And basically he's already removed the coil pack. So he's bought a new one. He's telling me he thinks that's what it is, but uh, it was a new one he put on and he thinks he blew it. So, so we'll see. Um, I've got the new coil pack. I'm gonna bench test the old one just to make sure that it's uh, just to make sure that it's okay or or not okay this is the old one so I can bench test that with an ohmmeter and see what we got so if I can determine that that's bad then uh, I'll go ahead and put the new one on and see what happens. What we've got is a no spark condition on this motor and uh, we've swapped out the coil the owner actually purchased a new coil because he thought it was a coil and we were assuming that, but uh, actually when you do a bench test, we tested it out, it came out okay, put the new coil on even, and it still didn't work. So today we're going to uh, check out the stator, the trigger for ohm readings, and uh, and then uh, uh, possibly get into the CDI readings on the ohms as well. So stay tuned, and uh, you'll see that being performed. So uh, I also got the book out. Purchased a brand new manual for it, and uh, of course the manual has got all the information. In it. According to the capacitor charging coil, is what it's called, on the stator, it's the uh, black green lead, the black brown lead, and the brown coil lead, and we're supposed to get 81 to 99 ohms. So the black and the brown. So that would be. We set it to. I'll set it to 2,000 ohms. It's supposed to be on the 1,000 ohm reading, but it doesn't have a 1K, it has a 2,000 ohm. So I might have to drop it to 200 if that doesn't work. But, so it's the, the brown lead, which is this one. And we'll probe that, and we'll probe the black, the black lead, which is this one. So we're going to probe both of these, and by golly, I got 0.89, or I'm sorry, 89 ohms. And that's exactly what I'm supposed to have, 89 ohms, according to the manual. I'm sorry, 81 to 99, so it's, it's 89 ohms, which is right in the ballpark, about right in the middle. So that checks out okay, so I'll put that back. that back together. The next one is going to be the uh, red or the white white wire with the red stripe and I believe the black. I have to check on that. White red is the coil lead and the black is ground. So I have to check the black and the white and red. And again that's 92 to 112 ohms. And that's called the trigger coil. So we'll pull the black one off again, the black and the red. Let's see what we have here. And we are reading about 107 ohms. And the spec is 92 to 112, and we're right in the ballpark. 92 to 112, and we're right in the ballpark. So. Okay, well we know that the trigger is good and uh, the charging coil is good. That's good news. Now, I've already checked the, uh, the coils. The coils were 0.12 to 0.18 on the primary. I was getting about 0.2 uh, 0.2 ohms on the primary on both coils, uh, the new one and the old one. So I'm going to call that good. It's a little on the high side, but that's still pretty good. And then 2800 to 4200 ohms, or 2.8 kilo ohms to 4.2 kilo ohms is the reading on the secondary circuit. And I was getting around 
3.8 ohms, kilo ohms. So I'm right in the ballpark on those. I've already checked that. Um, now the next thing is the, uh, the next thing is the CDI circuit. So we've got to check the resistance there. So CDI white to black should be infinite. White to black should be infinity. So let's try that. So here's white. And here's black. So we should have infinite, infinite amount of resistance here. If there's any resistance, then there's a problem. Okay, we've got zero. Let's put it up to the extreme high range. Yeah, there's zero. Uh, anyway, that checks out. Let's move on to the next step. Weight to brown is infinite. So weight to brown. So that is, that's infinite resistance. So the next circuit, check is white, uh, white to white to red. White to white to red. And I, there is a range on that. It's supposed to be uh, 8 to 14 ohms. So the white lead to the white to red, which is this one. supposed to read about 14 ohms. And I read nothing. Nothing at all. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. It's the wrong one. So I was reading the kill switch. So I'm still getting nothing. White to white to red. Nothing. Unusual. So that means that the CDI is not red. I'm not getting any ohms resistance on the white to white to red. White to white to red is 8 to 14. And then white to orange. So I've got, I've got a problem there, but white to orange would be this one. should be infinite. And it is. Okay, but that, that the only circuit so far that isn't checking out um, is the white. And uh, what did I say? White to white to red. So far. Now, we go with the black. Black and white should be infinite. Black and white should be infinite. Okay. 
Okay, so that circuit checked out. Okay, black to white. Black to brown is 63 to 95 ohms. Black to brown. Six hundred and ninety five ohms. That's high. It's only six six hundred and ninety five ohms. And it's supposed to be sixty three to ninety five ohms. That's way too high. Black to red and white. Black to red and white. Black to red and white here and here. And I'm getting nothing. So this CDI unit is garbage. It's got to be garbage. Everything else is checking out good. But I'm not getting nearly what I'm supposed to be getting on this for the uh, ohms readings. Some are zero. So I'm saying that CDI is bad. That'll be the next step. That's our next move to replace. So I'll contact the owner and let him know. Everything else, the trigger, the coils under the under the plywood will look good. So that's a good. That's at least that much is good. So stay tuned for the when we get a new CDI for this uh, this eight horse and uh, we'll put that on. See if she fires up. But that's my diagnosis and that's what I'm going to tell them. It's the CDI. So thanks for watching and stay tuned and uh, we'll, uh, we'll we'll start on it another day.